Epic 10 list. Here are 10 crazy last meal requests from individuals before their execution. Number 10, a full buffet. Stephen Woods was executed in 2011 for killing a young couple. Stephen's last meal request was more of a buffet than a meal. His meal consisted of a dozen garlic breadsticks, two pints of ice cream, several chicken fried steaks, Sweet tea, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, root beer, several chicken breasts, a large four meat pizza, and a side of fries. I love that they're taking down his order and he's like, oh, and, and don't forget the fries. Number nine, dinner and a movie. Ronnie Lee Gardner was executed in 2010 by a firing squad for killing three people. For his final meal, Ronnie asked for dinner and a movie. Per his request, he was able to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while drinking 7-Up and munching on apple pie, vanilla ice cream, steak, and lobster tail. Lobster tail, keeping it fancy. So fancy. And he got a trilogy in before like his death. The 12 hour stay of execution. <laughs> Number eight, a meal fit for a king. Dennis Bagel requested what many would think is a meal fit for a king. He was executed in 2005 for the brutal murder and rape of Tassie Boone, as well as the murder of Reba Best, Liana McBee, and Libby Best. For his last meal, Dennis asked for iced tea with real sugar, as well as a salad, two hamburgers, peach pie, milk, coffee, steak, fried chicken, 12 scrambled eggs with onions, fried potatoes with onion, barbecue ribs, onion rings, bacon, sliced tomatoes, and another side of fries. What's with these guys in the side of fries? And he made sure they gave him real sugar. None of that fake oh, sugar stuff. Oh, no, none of that. Number seven, you can't eat that. Odell Barnes was executed in the year 2000. For his last meal, Odell requested justice and equality with a side of world peace. No, no really, that's actually what he requested for his last meal. He died hungry. He so hungry. Number six, epic waste of ice cream. Timothy McVeigh was executed in 2001 for the death of 168 people. He was responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing, which was the worst act of terrorism in the United States until September 11th, 2001. For his final meal, Timothy asked for two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. A total waste of two pints of ice cream, if you ask me. I Just love, saying. I love no nope. ice cream. Can't do it. Can't do it? I don't eat toothpaste for dessert. What if it's cold and chunky? Number five, that's just dirty. James Edward Smith was executed in 1990 for killing an insurance agent. For his last meal, he asked for a pile of voodoo dirt. His request, surprisingly, was denied, and he settled on a cup of yogurt. I just want to know what's the difference between like regular dirt and voodoo dirt. <laughs> Kind of weird. Number four, the big secret that no one cares about. Larry Bill Elliott was executed in 2001 for killing a woman he met on the internet as well as her ex-boyfriend. Larry asked that his last meal request remain a secret. Dude, no one cares, Larry. Seriously, no one cares. It's true. Number three, now that's one too many olives. Victor Fugger was executed in 1963 for the kidnapping and murder of a doctor. His last meal request was one single olive. <laughs> Oh man, I, I don't like olives. Can't what do it. What is no, wrong with Not gonna you? happen, not gonna happen. I would die angry. Number two, a cup of Joe. Eileen Warnos was executed in 2002 for killing seven people. Eileen's last meal request was a cup of coffee. That's my kind of lady right yeah. there. You know what I mean? No cream, no sugar, just a cup of coffee. Number one, the meal you suck on. Gerald Lee Mitchell was convicted of killing two people and was executed in 2001. For his last meal, Gerald requested an entire bag of assorted Jolly Ranchers. Can you imagine how long that would take? <laughs> and you would die with your tongue so raw. I guess tongue raw and your teeth stuck together. So what would your last meal request be? Uh, you know what? I would have to go with a breakfast burrito all day. All really? Day, day. I came into this world with a breakfast burrito in my mouth. Ooh, I will leave this I world with a breakfast burrito. I think that was a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I think that was fluid from the uh, uterus. Uterus. <laughs> I think I'd freak people out with something like super wild, like a banana with ketchup on it in a hot dog bun. Just something like crazy. Just but then again, I would have to be a serial killer to qualify. <laughs> so I think so I'll it wouldn't just, be that crazy. The, yeah, true. Wouldn't be that crazy wouldn't be that at the end of it. I'm Justin. And I'm Eric, and we are Epic Ten List. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, click that thumbs up button, and check out some of these other videos. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Lots of other things going check on. Check it out. Oh. Check them all out. How does he move that? Get in a click hole. Oh. Get in a click hole. All the factoids. Oh. Everything you ever oh. need to know about oh. anything. Is that a right beat? here? Oh. Ooh. 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 I think it was subscribe. a different song. Oh. Different song. Subscribe. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs>